Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can create a bingo board through Google Spreadsheets. So let's go ahead and get started with a blank Google Spreadsheet. I'll just call this one Bingo. And now we're going to use an add-on called Flippity, which provides a lot of templates for making games and other activities. And we'll select the Bingo template. you notice in the background two columns have been added to the spreadsheet. Now we can change anything we like in either one of these columns. The only thing you can't do is change the column titles. If you do that you'll break the template. So the terms are the things that will appear on the bingo board and you can have 25 or more items. You need to have at least 25 items, however. Alternate terms are the terms that you might call out as part of a game. So if you wanted to do you know, state capitals, as the example has here, call it your state capital, and the students have to then find that state on their bingo board and cross it off on the board itself. Now, you can use just the text, but you can also add images to your bingo board. So, for example, let's say I wanted to do state birds. And I'm going to use the state bird for Maine, which is a chickadee. I'm going to put a picture of a chickadee in as opposed to the word Maine. So, to do that, I'll have to find an image online that I have the rights to reuse. So something in the public domain or Creative Commons licensed. Flickr is a great place to find images like that. And this image is in the public domain. And we'll select share photo. Now we need a link that ends in .jpg or .png. If you select just the share link in Flickr, you'll see it doesn't meet that requirement. So to find a link like that, choose the embed code, and then I'll paste it into a Google Doc, you can use a Word Doc, any text editor, and inside there we'll find a link that ends in JPG. I'm now going to take that link, and instead of using the text for the word main, I'll put in that link. And then we'll see, there's my link. Now, I have to go back and select Publish to the Web. And we will publish this entire document to the web. There's the link to it. But there's one more step. I'm going to go back to the add-ons and to Flippity. We'll see a new flippity.net URL. And there's the link to our bingo board list of terms. We'll see down here instead of main I now have the picture of the chickadee. If I want to print out my boards I can print them out and if I want to have students play online I have a link right there that I can distribute to students and it will randomly generate a board for them. You see there's also a QR code option as well. So that's how you can create a bingo board through the use of Google Spreadsheets. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.